Got a little break in the rain, so I'm gonna try to get this TP skinned. I especially like that the pins and the canvas is wet from the rain today. Makes it a lot harder. If it looks dangerous, it's because it is. Don't try that at home. All right guys, got a little break in the rain, so I'm gonna to try to get this TP skinned. So I laid out my pole here, this is my lift pole, and I gotta attach the actual canvas to that, roll it all up, set it up, and well, you'll see what I'm doing. Just give me a minute. So, right here, I need to go ahead and secure using this piece of cordage that I made. Piece of rope. I need to secure this to the lift pole. What I'm going to do is route through there. I'm going to come around once. And then, because the weight of this canvas is going to want to pull down and make the teepee sag and get wrinkly, nobody wants a wrinkly saggy old teepee. I'm going to come underneath to kind of lock that in place. And milk that out. I want that as tight as possible. And then finish her off with a right over left, left over right, square knot, or reef knot. And then, for a little added protection, drive a small roofing nail through this to keep it from sliding down. Need to get myself out of the way. Flip this over this side. Let's go ahead and take this right there. I'm just gonna tap it in. Just, just tap it in. Just give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, taparoo. There we go. That'll keep that from sliding. I'm going to fold in these sides in such a way to where I can roll it all up and lift everything up together. So I need to kind of reverse roll this. Go ahead and roll them spiders on up with it. Maybe not that spider. Same thing on the other side. This hair's been popping out so much. I think I'm gonna have to put it in the credits.
is pretty cool in here. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I've got to lace these up, but first I got to get up to the top and actually tie those together. And I got to run the lacing pins through and all that. And I'll do that from the outside, but just want to show you kind of what it looks like in here. Got a lot of smoke, kind of residual smoke on here from, uh, from TP times past, we'll say, but really excited to have it up to this point. A little bit of lacing up the front, a little bit of bushcraft ladder time. Uh, I do mean a little, just a couple of pins and then I don't need that anymore. Uh, and then I'll adjust all the poles, stick everything down, adjust all the poles, get it nice and tight, and we'll see what we're working with. Give me a couple lacing pins while I'm up there. I might not want to climb up that again. So, it's a wee bit shaky. I especially like that the pins and the canvas is wet from the rain today. Makes it a lot harder. If it looks dangerous, it's because it is. Don't try that at home. So my smoke flap poles, I gotta cut them to length at about 18 feet because it's a 16 foot teepee. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these off real quick. I want these to be pretty blunt, so I'm just going to crown these real quick. I hear the thunder. So this knife that I'm using, oh, it's nice. This knife that I'm using, that's just a, it's from the Craftline series. It's a Mora 510 all around carbon steel blade really super inexpensive it's a really good backup knife actually and it's really good all around mm -hmm. this is one i like to use for for a skinning game small butchering processing meat and all that but just it chews through wood too like a as joe price would say it chews through wood like a beaver behind on its rent so just an all-around good blade probably why they call it the 510 all around so i have to agree it's one of my favorite little blades that looks good Go ahead and hit this one. And this just protects the canvas while it sits in that pocket on my smoke flap. It's definitely one of the best all around knives out there. You can't beat them more. Custom leather sheath. This custom leather sheath fits the 510 and the Companion and the Companion HD. Get yours today. Available at Walmart. All right, so I've got the cover on 
it's just kind of hanging there, you know, and I've got a nice uniform hang here, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've got my smoke pole flaps taut. So what I'm gonna do is go around and just adjust the poles a little bit, and then I'm gonna stake it down tight and then move the poles out and tighten the whole thing. So basically, I gotta get the poles out of the way so it doesn't tear or push against the canvas. Stake it all down nice and tight and then push the poles out against it. That way I'm not pulling it tight against the poles. You know what I mean. Well, she's up, she's tight, and she's gorgeous. She's got to set this pole here for the smoke flap. That'll do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that looks great. All right, guys, so that's where we're at for now. The TP's up, she's ready to go. The fire pit's inside. Nothing left to do but have a ceremonial first fire. Maybe do a little little smudge, a little smudge melt with some sage. Uh, I'll have the wife put together a sage bundle and uh, maybe do a bow drill fire in here, cook some chow after we smudge, of course. Cook some chow in here. Uh, but for now, my kids have been waiting for a long time for me to get this up because I had to film. It took a little bit longer than planned, so they're just dying to get in here and play around. So I'm going to enjoy this with my family for a while. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves outdoors and enjoying your family as well. Hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the woods.